Let's look at some bad green screen effects, shall we? Welcome back everybody, I'm Karen Carr and I help real estate agents dominate their local markets by making free YouTube videos to attract their ideal clients all without spending a dime on ads. Sounds pretty awesome, doesn't it? If you like that idea, you need to hit the subscribe button because I make videos like this every week and I think they're kind of cool if I do say so myself. Let's talk about green screens. Green screens have their place. In general, I'm not really a fan. Many of my students love a good green screen, but I've seen some really, really bad ones more than I've seen really good ones. So why would you need a green screen? Well, let's say here I am in my home office and it's kind of a mess. Let's say that you record at home in your home office, but it's very cluttered or you have a bookcase behind you that has 3 million books in it and it just looks messy. You want something a little more clean, a little more sparse, a little more contemporary, maybe something with more color. I mean, I don't have a lot of color in here. I got beige walls and brown floors and white doors. There's not a lot of color, so maybe you just want something with more color. You can find green screen effects that will make a very nice backdrop. What you want to do is make sure that when you put your body in the green screen effect, you are to scale. What you don't want to do is have a giant version of you in this little teeny tiny backdrop or the opposite problem, a huge backdrop with a little tiny thumbnail of you. So let's look at some examples of good green screen and bad green screen effects. standing several feet in front of the green screen. Probably four feet, five feet. If you stand right up against the green screen, the green color bleeds onto you and gives you that green halo. So you have to have enough distance between yourself and the green screen. You have to have lighting on you, and then you have to have lighting on the green screen. So I have two soft boxes pointing at the green screen, one on each side. So if you have adequate lighting, you have light shining on the green screen, you have light shining on you, preferably you have some sort of light coming down. I see it's still a little bit dark on my forehead, but I need to touch up my roots. So if it's a little dark, I'm not gonna complain about that. But the last thing we want is to see a big green halo around your body. Nothing looks worse with a green screen than the green halo which screams, hey everyone, this is totally fake. So in general, if you feel like you need to have a green screen because you just do not like your filming location, try just changing your location. Try shooting outside. Try shooting at an open house or a vacant listing or a park or at your office. I truly don't think that your backdrop is all that important. For example, I have never had a single person say, I watched your video and I found your information to be extremely valuable, but I hate your backdrop, so I'm not going to subscribe to your channel. What? <laughs> that just doesn't happen. Now, you, you want it to be somewhat attractive. You don't want it to be incredibly busy and you don't want it to be super, super messy. You want it to be professional. But for example, this is my home office. This is what it looks like, people. And I'm okay with it. I would rather see a real backdrop that makes me understand a little more about who you are and where you are and a day in the life and all the things 
than be superimposed on a green screen that obviously looks artificial. Just my two cents. Take it for what it's worth. It's worth about what you paid for it, right? <laughs> Did I mention that I am now a best-selling author on Amazon? Yes, that is right, my book. YouTube for Real Estate Agents, Learn How to Get Free Leads and Never Cold Call Again, is now a bestseller on Amazon. It is available in the Kindle version, the paperback version, and very, very soon, it will also be an audiobook on Audible. If you have not yet grabbed your copy, I encourage you to do so. I help you set up your YouTube channel so that you can start getting business from YouTube the same way that I have done in my own business for the past two and a half years. I am a proud member of the Industry Syndicate, the first media network for the real estate industry. We have people that do podcasts, we have video shows, we have lenders, we have realtors, we have title people, we have all the things sharing all of their knowledge about what works for them to bring them new business, and you should definitely check it out. They even have an app that's going to be launching this fall, so how cool is that? If you are ready to step up your YouTube game, I invite you to subscribe to my channel, and you should check out this video next, because like I said, I put out some good info, people.